Night at Collinwood, in a time parallel to our own. Barnabas Collins is still the captive of the avaricious author William Loomis and does not see the mysteries and terrors that are growing in the countryside around. But could he see, he would witness this night an act that tips the delicate balance between good and evil, with evil the undisputed victor. divided nature. great estate of Collinwood in parallel time, where each person follows a new destiny. But Barnabas has not found the peace he wanted so desperately. Instead, he is trapped in a coffin, the prisoner of a half-mad author. He does not know that on this night, a young scientist has taken a potion he believes will eliminate evil from his mind but instead has changed him into a strange, violent creature who causes havoc wherever he goes. This wild man came in here and fought with Steve. Well, you know Steve, Mr. Collins. Mm -hmm. Well, some stuff got broken. This guy says he's gonna pay for it. So he goes out and he comes back with this check. Now, it's probably forged, but, but look at the signature on it. It's signed by a friend of yours, Cyrus Longworth. He gave you this? Well, like I say, it's probably forged. Yes, it probably is. Well, uh, good night, Papa. Good night, Mr. Collins. My dear, I thought our agreement was that you were not to mention where the check came from. Apparently, you forgot. And that's a pity, because now I'm going to have to teach you to understand. Oh, no! <laughs>
this is Collinwood as it exists in the strange and disturbing world of parallel time. A world in which Barnabas Collins lies trapped in a chained coffin. The prisoner of a man named Will Loomis. Unable to witness or deal with the terrifying events going on around him. One such event is the effort of a young chemist in Collinsport to alter the human personality, separating the good from the evil. And he has succeeded, for he has discovered another side to his own personality, one that may permanently change his life. The antidote, I must have it. The police will track me here. I must be Cyrus Longworth again. Ah, oh, Mr. Yeager. Collins. Well, 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 so you're Jaeger. At your service. <laughs> well, aren't you surprised that I know who you are? Where's Cyrus Longworth? Well, that's strange. I was about to ask you the same question. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Mr. Collins, you're a gentleman. Would I ever lie to a gentleman? Then why don't you tell me what you've done with him? Well, what, what can one do to Cyrus Longworth now? That, that is an interesting theoretical question. Jaeger, where is he? You know. Oh, now, now you're going to accuse me of being a, a burglar. Well, uh, Cyrus can explain all that. Can he now? Yes, he gave me the combination of the safe. I'm keeping some of my belongings and valuables there. You no, know, I don't believe a word you're saying. Now, where is he? Keep saying that. And I'm going to keep saying it and keep asking it until I get an answer. Or until Cyrus Longworth walks down those stairs. great estate of Collinwood, but different now because the people there live in another band of time, a time which Barnabas Collins hoped would release him from his terrible curse. But once in this parallel time, Barnabas discovered his hope was in vain. Now he lies, trapped in this coffin, unable to witness the events which swirl around him. For this night, one man questions whether this woman is truly dead or whether she walks disguised as another, and he intends to find out. Get out of here! Oh, no. Not this time, not until I find out the truth. What? See, I know your motive. You are Angelique and you come back for revenge. You have gone completely mad. And you brought back the spirit of Damien because you know how he died. Damien? I never even heard of the man. You think that his ghost can frighten me into to admitting that I killed you? Will you please get out of here and leave me alone? Oh, no, not until I, I prove what you really are. A living dead person possibly prove anything like that? Like this. If you're dead already, then you can't die again, can you? What? You will know oh, no! in just a minute. No! no!
great house at Collinwood, as it appears in a world of parallel time running concurrently with our own, a world that has mysteriously opened itself to Barnabas Collins. But soon after he appeared in this time, his darkest secret was discovered by a man named William H. Loomis. Now Barnabas Collins lies trapped in a chained coffin, unaware that on this night, in a graveyard not far from Collinwood, three people are about to open a coffin and settle a mystery that has plagued all who live at Collinwood. Did Angelique Collins really die six months before, or does she still live in the guise of her twin sister, Alexis? Why are you here? How did you know to come here? Unless you're Angelique. Unless I'm Angelique. You believe it now, too, don't you? Well, I'm here because I overheard the two of you, and because I don't want my sister's grave defiled. Quentin, please, if you will stop now, I will go away. That will end all the torment you're going through. I leave Collinwood tonight. And will that stop what's happening in this house? No. Now I must go on. And no one's going to stop me. Quentin, no! No! Will she ever be allowed to rest in peace? I must go on. No matter what the spell. <laughs> 